Hello and welcome back. Today I have for you Firewatch, which is one I've had on my list for a while and a lot of people have recommended. I know it's been out for quite a while now, I think. Um, but yeah, it's been recommended so many times and I don't know, I'm not sure what to expect. Kind of cosy, kind of mystery, I think. Anyway, having said that, let's go. You see Julia or you see Julia? I don't know. She's, oh, you see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her, just in case, just a little plug, have you watched my series on uh, Father's Day with uh, Officer Henry? If you haven't, you should. It's great. You approach her. You are drunk. Uh, I'm not gonna be creepy, so we'll go first. So what's your, you know, major? You slur the word major and it smells like cause. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Is that a question? Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you were Julia's boyfriend. Julia just loves these drunk men in bars. Hmm. That was quick. We moved quickly. We must have been super charismatic. Oh, okay. Hang on. Uh, pick up. Still feels quite fast, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Okay, we go into the car. Oh, is there gonna be secrets in this game? Because I do like secrets. Okay, we'll just. You know what? We'll just we'll ignore any potential secrets. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. Nice. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Get her a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Oh. Oh no, that's a real tough choice. Can we have both of them? See, I feel like men playing this game would pick the German Shepherd, right? And women would pick the Beagle. Going for the Beagle. Book it's a good dog and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other. I feel really bad now. Julia loves him. You love him too. Oh, I want to turn it off already. Why couldn't we have both dogs? 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm, and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. <gasps> Your throat tightens and you start choking. Kids? Ugh, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some couple of little idiots. That would be pretty good. One day. Why rush? Hey, there's the part of me going what I would want and what they would want. We'll give them kids, that's fine. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that. 
These kids are going to be screwed up enough, it's probably for the best their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. I sense there's some sort of foreboding. Something bad's going to happen. It best not happen to the beagle. Thoroughfare? No, don't forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. No fireworks. Thoroughfare trail is not recommended for an experienced... I'm so experienced at hiking. Do you know how experienced? Have you watched my series on Home Safety Hotline? No? If you had, you'd know that I was an experienced hiker. Just saying. I hope this is the right way. I didn't check the map. Experienced hiker. 1980. It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I'm going to get mad. I want to know what's going on. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. True love. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Well, don't be selfish then. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all of the places you go. She draws you. I feel like this is setting something up, but I'm in a frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Very nice. Trying to figure out if the shift is makes me go any faster. I don't think it does. It's just a placebo effect. Two forks, fire lookout. Ooh, eight more miles. How long would it take you to walk eight miles? Two hours? Maybe a bit less? I don't know. A bit more? 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Kill that man. Kill that man. Burby bab buck du, du, dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble when she's speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. Look. Right. I know that the moral part of you is meant to just scare him away. But if that was real life and somebody kicked my dog. I wouldn't, I mean, I probably wouldn't be scaring them away. Me going, bah, it's not going to do anything. But y you know what I'm saying? Like, kick a dog, you should get kicked in return. Oh. You beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cocks, cops. Did I just say cocks? <laughs> cry your eyes out before the cocks show up. <laughs> Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. Look, man, it's a story about growth, human growth. From then on, you walk by the river. See, we've learned something here. If we'd have scared him away, maybe we wouldn't have done much learning. 1984, plans to have kids gets waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Ooh, I don't like either of those options. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Why? I mean, I know we don't want to move, but you know, you men are like each other. I don't think she should not take 2000 miles away though. How is she meant to commute that? She should take the job and then maybe leave us for a better life.
You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. I, I, I mean, I understand that. I do understand that. That's reasonable. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him two days prior. That's less reasonable. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. No, we're going to talk to someone. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Imagine if we'd have just made macaroni, cheese and drank wine. Christ. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. That's really sad. And they never had kids, huh? <laughs> I like that he shut that like oh no we don't look at that <laughs> embarrassing no Bucket is getting older Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house a week later she goes back to the university oh I'm so depressed how long have we been doing this like 10 minutes <laughs> 1987, Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. The research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. This is dark, man. I wasn't expecting this today. I wanted something cheery and happy, and this is not that. This is not that at all. This is what you get for not doing research before you play things. Hi. Oh. Bye. A family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. And then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. Not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I'll cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Not like that, I hope. That's not. <sighs> Months go by, Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Did it say what he did as a job? You take it. 
bleak. So bleak. Hey. Enter the lookout tower. Better not turn spooky. The music's very nice though. Like a sleepy playlist, you know? Reminds me a little bit of Raft. Turn on the power. Ooh, we slapped that. Yep, yeah, I'll have that. Oh god, he's two forks tower. Hi. He's very sudden in his arm movements. Hold left shift. Hello. Um hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? Well, let me what's tell you. you. That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh... Nobody back home can stand okay, you. You're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, <laughs> is not a big shock. Oh, we are sassy. We Ouch. like sassy. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh, I was still reading that. Okay, well, it's fine. Oh, oh are we writing a novel? Was she Good right? Henry. Well, I guess Good morning, afternoon. Henry. You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. I'm sorry, where are you? Uh... Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. Where is she? Got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry oh, wow. about it. That hike slept till the everyone evening. out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yep. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West. This is west, right? Fucking oh. Fireworks? Oh, wait, hang on. He's, he's not holding this. West. This way? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Uh, no, I don't, actually. Oh, yes, I do. Oh. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down no. there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Sure thing, I'll, really I'll do my it. Job? Yep. Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay, I'll do it. Like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. I mean, if you let me beat the shit out of them, I think they'd be less inclined to do it again. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for oh, all of them. Okay. Okay, how do we... I've now just got a compass in my hand. Can we take our backpack? No, we're not going to take the backpack. We're not going to take anything with us to wherever it is that we're going. That's fine. Oh! Yep. You! You over there! Come here! Oh! Okay, that's fine. I'm coming very slowly. I will be there soon.
Um, oh, I'm not so good at the maps. So, is that Jonesy Lake? Amazing. It's my lake. Um, what cache did she say? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to assume 306, right? Because that's west. Oh my god, it literally says 306 right there. Okay. Way? Uh, yes, we're going to my lake. Good old Jonesy Lake. Very peaceful, but it's kind of like a concerning kind of peaceful. Like, it's not going to stay peaceful. What is that noise? Are we going the right way? Yes. I feel like I can hear someone walking. Don't like it. Can we... Ah. Okay, well, I don't think we need the map right now, then. This is definitely the way we came, though, right? Did we come from Jonesy Lake? That. Yes. What did she say? One, two, three, four. Yay! Super smart. Uh, yep, copy this, whatever it is. Take. Q. 7786. Ron, hey man. A guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hide it. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. D. Dave sounds like a fun guy. Uh, how do we... Can we keep it? Okay. I like all these pine cones. Is there going to be something about the pine cones? What are all these marks on him? Oh, no, wait, drop it. Uh, I will take the granola bar. Do I have to eat it now? I can't. Hello? Hello? Um, I, okay, I guess we'll eat it. But I could have put it back there in case I needed it later. Go. Can we shut it? Yeah. Is this the right way? Ah. Uh, yes. I'm just. I'm just gonna say yes. This is correct. Hey you, darn kids! Stop setting off those fireworks. I don't see no fireworks. Oh, I see them. Ah, I'm coming! You best, best not run out of fireworks before I get there. Ooh. Shale slide, it's steep. I wonder if he needed any training for this job. It seems, you know, like you would need to have some sort of experience in rock climbing and setting up carabiners and stuff. I shit myself. Okay, well, I guess we're not going... Uh, oh yeah, I should talk to that lady. Um, excuse me. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Christ's sake. Report Meadow? Uh, hell of a nice a camping hell of a nice spot. camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Is that them? You, you guys. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Pyrotechnicians. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Oh, guys. You've made so much mess. Am I really gonna have to clean up all your shit? 
Ridiculous. You, you're you not allowed to come camping if you were going to leave the area like this. It's just not on. I am definitely going to beat the shit out of you now. I'm going to take your stuff. Right after I finish cleaning up. Because I can't help myself. Oh shit. Ferret or Irish. Yeah, I'm keeping that. Confiscate. <sighs> These darn kids. They didn't even bring any rubbish bags with them. What were they were they planning on just leaving everything here? Stuff on Oh, don't stand on that. Yeah, stomp it out. No one is allowed to have fun at Lake Camp Jonesy. They left their packs tied up. Take here. them, take them. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. I want to fuck with them, though. Okay, well, not allowed. Can I take the shirt? That is a shirt on there, right? The, like, uh, is it like Mick Foley? The Mick Foley shirt? Can I have it? Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like, uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Scare them. Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back can hear your shitty music. Keep it for later. What's he doing with these things? He's definitely not putting them back. Did he? Another pair of... Ooh, is it two ladies? Why can't I not examine this? Oh. Report uh, underwear. Are, uh, there are panties. Easy. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Where I is. I found them, Delilah. Found them in the lake. Let me off my leash yeah. and I will. Is that a guy over there? Yep. Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Taking your radio. Go stereo. Whoa, hey, put that down. Seriously. Drop it. Expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. I've I put them down. I'm not creepy. <laughs> Swim to the other Don't side of the lake or something. Fun, right? Don't threaten or what? Come what are you gonna do? Are you, I'm He's the fire warden. Duck all of your stuff. Fireworks, whiskey, you name it. What? What? Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking. No, it was confiscate. Confiscating is different. Can we just and also, if you're teenagers and this is America, I'm pretty sure it's illegal for you to be drinking whiskey. Yeah, I am. You're just some sad girl out in the woods. We're all just sad people out in the woods. What makes you different to me? You can't insult someone for being out in the woods when you're out in the woods, you know? Hey, that go okay? Uh, I hope they drown. I hope they drown. Yep. Yow. I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Right? Just gonna go ahead and not lock that as a threat. Thanks. But well, let me get my map out. Thanks for dealing with it. Uh, in. Where am I? Do I wanna go? Well, like back up the river. I think so. That's fine. a bit of a confession to make okay what is it um look i was i was drunk last night oh is that why I you were being an job. asshole yeah well you're not the first boss to be right. guilty of that i know i just i know i can get a little pushy you know putting you on the spot about uh why you're out here and stuff that's fine we should be nice I'll, she's I'll the only friend that, that we sort have of thing to uh to a minimum yeah you best do anyway 
Let me know when you get back to your lookout. Okay. Might be a while. I am famously not good with directions. Good job I took this job. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I'll do my best. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I hope I'm not I meant to remember the numbers like the that were that. already in yeah, here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you oh, believe? Nice. Cheery. Uh copy. I really like that poster, I'd like to keep it. Defend our frontier. Uh, yes, I would like the flashlight. Cheers. This doesn't work. Okay. Ah. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, what is this horn for? I'm confused. Is this the weapon? Okay, put it back. Okay. And close. We don't need this yet, though, do we? Um, I'm assuming we're going to go in this cave, which is why I now have a flashlight. I'm just going to go for it. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Thunder. Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Hello! Yeah, that was fun. Uh, play with the echo again. Oh! Yep, I like this guy. Okay, this the gate's cave locked. Is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys okay, from so the I can't service go office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so <laughs> maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. Why, Hank? My name's not Hank, is it? <laughs> this is definitely the right way, right? Ooh! There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Come back. She's looking at you? Is he doing what? anything else? Why? Like, what? I don't think so. Can we go up there? Henry, there's, there's something I... Something oh my god, what? Told you about this area. What? What? Well, tell what me. What is it? It's outside. <laughs> come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. What? Nailed it. Okay, come back though. I wanna know who you I wanna shine my torch in your face. Did you go Wait, did you go? You went up there, didn't you? I'm coming. Coming for you. Oh, I'm doing a lot of climbing. We haven't really eaten anything. I had a granola bar actually. We have eaten. All of my nutrients. Hello, sir. Oh. I'm gonna go this way. This seems dangerous and spooky. <sighs> Are you up here? Okay, well, no, it was irrelevant then. You can't be just shining your light in people's eyes. What if I'd fallen and injured myself? You just walked away. You never would have known. Oh, I'm expecting to see like a face over one of these rocks. <laughs> it's all right, I'm allowed to do this. I'm a park ranger. <sighs> <gasps> oh my goodness. Well, the trail's not closed anymore, guys. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Yep, that's what I said. Oh, Stealing really? my joke. Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Uh, where fine. am I going? Am I going to Thurifair Fire Lookout, yeah? I want to go here first, though. So it's and I, uh, I want to go there, the actually. Use? Yeah, let's use it. Why not? Man, Henry, oh, I found a baseball. Well, number 
one at least. And but... uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Okay, well we can't actually use it, but we found a baseball, so e, that looks like the the outhouse, I guess, from um, Father's Day. Why is the generator on? So this generator, it's all the power I've got out here. Yep. You know, the one with the creepy woman inside and, whose neck well, went... We don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Pick up the cinder block. Throw it at someone. Okay. Hello? Excuse me? What's that for? What's the noise for? Why? Why? Why, why is this music started? Uh, I'm going up here now. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You oh, right. this is my tower. No, how the hell? You should get inside. I'm, I'm going. Me. Ooh, that man, that creepy man. Wait, let's go in first. Put it, my typewriter down. Oh, for God's sake. Uh. Oh, that's fine. That can go there. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Mother. Fucker. Was it Holy us? Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Right, and beyond that, then what? The place is trashed. What, 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 what else can we do, though? I can't believe this shit. Keep reporting it. Keep telling us. you hear it. anything yet? Okay, I put in a call. What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii 5 -0. Do well, you have any idea who would have done this? I don't know. I've just got here. You tell me who's lurking in these bloody woods. No, it's not the girls at the lake. They don't know where I'm from. The guy in the canyon. I don't uh... know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. I think it's probably Great. us. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean... I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Yeah, well, uh, we're okay. actually in here, morning, though. I'm call my friend Patty, you. who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever. Well, it's not going to be and someone who was out here officially the if they've come in to steal we'll stuff and be vandals. At least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. We're going to have to Thanks. clean this up, aren't we? I need you to feel safe out here. Well... I don't. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. We could bleach them. Wake up. I'm already awake. I didn't sleep. I was terrified. Hey, wake up. I'm, I am awake. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Hey. Right. I don't really know uh, why that would be the case. The backup? No backup? The backup is the two-day hike out oh, of here. Oh, okay, well. So, that's a no? Can I fix it's it? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? We get to go in the cave? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. I am called Hank. It's Henry. Henry. What, you don't of course, like Hank? Officer Henry. Yeah, I don't like Hank. Officer Henry, thanks, nothing friends, gets past Hank. Henry. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're going. Let's go. Assuming we don't really need to eat. Ah, what a beautiful day. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't get me. I'm the fire watchman. Where am I going? Survey the communication lines north of the canyon. And she said I had to go back through 
the cave. Oh, so much of this is about direction. Right? So, do I just go straight north? Yeah, so I want to go... Drop down. Hope we all oh, brought a med kit. My ankles hurt. <sighs> Do we have like any splints or bandages? I feel like we're gonna need them. To the cave! The cave of wonders. Oh, oh it's, it's cold. Damn cold out here. Thought you might want to know that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, oh, uh you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Oh, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. The thing is, though, that cave. I don't think so. Why have you? What? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Yeah, just give me a second there. Do I need to go through the cave? Yeah? Oh. Um. Oh, looks like I might have lost you. You oh. could be down in one of those valleys. Call me if you need anything. Sorry, I was busy doing my job. Fair enough. creepy down here. Wasn't before. Uh, and then what? Due north. That way maybe? Just do it. Arr. <laughs> Did they get married? Did it say in the beginning bit if they got married or not? We have a wedding ring. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, I wish I had a weapon. Although this man does just apparently beat the shit out of people, so maybe I don't need a weapon. We've got our fists. What was that sound? Okay. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So, carry on this way. An old outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area. I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Uh, is this just going to be the whole game, me going, I hope it's the right way? Yes, it's the right way. Right. The tent over there. Can we... Wait, what is this? Oh no, see now there's too much stuff to look at. Uh, can we clear that away, please? Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. I hope this is the right way to that tent. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Okay. Oh, why was that? What? Oh, what? Summit. 
Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Oh, it's the cache. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the okay. thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I no, I want to go yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. To that cache. Yep. Uh, I want to see that. Yeah, okay. Good enough for me. I want that cache box, though. Hmm. Stay close to these edges as possible. Okay. Mm -mm. No. Yes? <sighs> no. Come on, Hank, Henry. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. <gasps> mm, that is a pickle. No. I could just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. But the cache box is so close. <laughs> Seems fine. Seems oh, wait. Is there any way I can get to that cache box? Oh, for the love of God! I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it. Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself. Yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. So we're just not allowed that cache box, huh? That's fine. Let's go. Baseball. Long drop. Careful of the ankle. Oh, ankles. Um, I want to go back to the lake, right? She said, go back to where I saw them last. What is that? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Can I not... Tell her whose name it is? She might know who... Oh, who... Who it belongs to. Hey, I found some ropes. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. There's a cache! Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Do I need to do that, though? Oh, I do. Uh, he was a lookout. <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. 
He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? She said they took off halfway through the summer. Are we not being more concerned that they, like, disappeared and his backpack's out here? No, nope, nobody, nobody fussed about that. Okay, well, just me then. Dave! Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve, it's your man Ron! I went up to check out the new guy at Two Fox and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for Ellos, but I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except of us. For us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Did she say what that man's dad was called? Because it could be this man. Uh, keep. Ooh, look, a stone. Nice, that's a good stone. Fossilised claw. Oh, can I talk to her about it? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Was that it? Great. Great. I'm glad of that conversation we just had. Right, obviously wants me to take a bloody picture, so... The smoke. Snap that. Um, thank you. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is Coming either to go that a way? fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. I'm hoping that this is the right way. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go this way. Oh, well, this way doesn't seem as nice. No, stop it. Stop rustling. Don't want anything to do with you. I'm hiking, sir. Yeah, why are these trees all burnt? Is this where there's been a fire? Oh, please stop. Please stop. I don't like it. Stop it. Go away. What did she say? Five mile? Okay, well... I don't think she told me to go to either of those places. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. You're not plotting my murder, are you? I hope not. I just told you that I'm married and I had a dog. You can't murder me. Oh, every time he turns around, I'm expecting there to be something there. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Talking to me? Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Okay. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. 
Still, I think I could jump this gap. I've already done the canyon. it. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Yep, yeah, I've already done it. You way behind, Henry. Harry, Hank. <sighs> I mean, I feel like we kind of needed to be that way. Ah. Uh... Oh, please don't start with the music, unless it's nice music, in which case, yeah, carry on. We'll get there eventually, like, it's all just one big circle, right? Where am I going? Oh my god, all the way down there. Okay. I'm so annoyed about that cachet. I don't want to go back to... Hey, wait. Have I already been here? 306. Okay. I want to go south. This way? Hang on. Yes. I want to get all of the caches and have all of the things. I like that it seems to give you enough to kind of concentrate on and focus on and wow, talk about. An old, uh, there's no kind of like big gaps. Medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it oh, was this. made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Hey, I'm at the medicine wheel, and I can't see the smoke anymore. Where am I headed again? Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Ah! Okay, heading I'm over not... there now. I'm gonna go to the lake. I think the lake... My lake is gonna be the best idea. Wait, what down here? What are you talking about? Okay. What does she have? Oh. She's got Alzheimer's. This again. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get... Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Thank you. Nope. We're done. Oh, can we go down here now? I don't know if this is right, but I'm doing it anyway. Because I don't care about the rules. Um, right. Where am I? So, straight down this way. I'm going to say yes. We'll soon find out. A cache box, my favourite. Does it have tools in for clearing roots? I hope so. I can't believe they're all one, two, three, four. I think one of them will be wrong one day and we won't be allowed in it. Great. Who's missing? Uh, read Mitch Michaels, 31, 6, 265 pounds, short brown hair, hair, short brown hair, identifying features, distinctive facial hair, general info, Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July the 3rd, 1981, first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 by Forest Service personnel not known to be familiar with the area. 
Mitch was last seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of the 3rd of July. Uh, vehicle info, 1972 Ford F250, blue and white Montana license plate number 28073263326. If you have seen or contacted them or have more info, please contact the Shush Shoshone National Forest Dispatch. Who is that a picture of? Okay. What have we got? Oh, just loads of pine cones. What if there's something under the pine cones? Nope. Who's saving all the pine cones? Do I get a present for getting them all? So where are we now then if we're at the cache box? So we need to go south. Uh, this way. Yes. I think this is right. So it's right. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years. We're doing it right. Fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards Ooh. where we saw that smoke. Okay. Cheers, hon. I just love being out in these woods at a night time. We cross? What's over there? What is that? It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is strange. Um, do we go this way? So north now, yeah? So that way. Ooh. Ah. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? I don't know. It seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Unless someone's just stealing from everybody. Huh. Pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you- <laughs> It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case no. of beer lift here, a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. Ooh, that is well. some dedication. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Uh, what else? You know, maybe hmm. I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... Dear Psycho, I hope you are fucking happy. We're leaving and we're gonna find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. I, I mean, know, I respect crazy, the- uh... even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got- Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Oh. Well, the girls left someone, me, I <laughs> guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No. No, well, I, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. 
Because I told Probably you to was. scare them, not assault them. It. Yeah, oh my goodness. Back at the lake, but that just felt like I don't know the cost of doing. They were teenagers. They're not allowed to drink. This is, I don't know, weird as hell. But it wasn't me. It's it's okay. I believe you. Do weird you? Stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. And I think that day three is where we're going to leave it for now. But it's been enjoyable, I'm really enjoying this story. Um, sorry, Henry's just interrupting me. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more Firewatch, I'm enjoying it. Hope you are too. And, um, as always, hey, Henry? be quiet. As always, leave a comment below telling us what you want to see next on the channel. And don't forget to give us a like and a sub. And I think that's it.